was. Well, same spot I was in last night. Close to the area I was yesterday morning. So, saw a bunch of deer in here yesterday morning, but they were all up around here. There's some good bucks lying right here. Saw four bucks last night. None of them were shooters. One was kind of close. I think I've heard a couple walking around in the in the corn, but I haven't been able to see anything yet. It felt like I got in here pretty clean. But we'll see. tube and I said it was a snort grunt went <laughs> like three minutes later cruised in and you go shit do you do this to shame <laughs> what's he doing with my hip on the tree and my back to the field because I'm assuming this is probably where they're gonna come from out in this direction and I've got pretty good shooting lanes out here yeah I really don't have much of a shot at all whenever I'm facing the tree. So whenever I'm facing the tree, I can't shoot at all on this side of the tree. Yeah. Like you can't even move to that side of the tree. There's a limb sticking out over this side. You can't move to that side of the tree. So you can kind of shoot right here, but you can't shoot out in front of you at all. So I have been facing this way. Dad said that that one deer might be coming from the south. So I'm looking south and I just happened to glance over my shoulder and I see this so it wasn't that deer? No. No, and there's another big one, a big deer. No, I don't think it still was as big as, but there was a good one in the field after he shot. So I, I'm watching south, and I hear something, I get up, and I'm facing the tree, the, the field again, I still don't see him, and then he comes out at maybe 25 yards, 20 yards maybe. But there's no possible way for me to shoot him on this side of my tree. So as he, I get, I, I've got my bow in hand, I slide, put my back, kind of like turn around and put my back to the tree. So if the tree's here and you're standing where the deer is, I'm, I'm like this to my, with my back to the deer, yeah. with my hip on the tree, and I'm shooting this direction. And he stopped in a hole. I let him fly. And... <coughs> what did it look like with the knock? You I don't, don't have traces. Don't have lighted knocks. Why? I'm poor. No, um, because I've got I got these new arrows, and I wanted to shoot them, and I couldn't get the knocks out, and so I sighted it in with that lighted knocks, and I was gonna mess up it. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Boys, what are we doing this morning? Gonna shoot a big one. All right. Pop tart, good.
Tell us about the hunt. Did we see anything? Yeah. Yes. What was it? It was too little. Yeah, it was too little to shoot. Where was he? He walked. Probably like four yards from the blind, wasn't it? Five arrows. Not all the raw heads are the same. Because you just never know whenever you're up there and something big ass walks by and you're like, you know what? That broad head ain't gonna work. I need the one that's dented. <laughs> Because I just sighted this bow in 20 minutes ago. Because my V broke. What kind of man has a broken V? I can't put this on the channel. You got huh? you since what? You got the bleep, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You I'm not sure it. if it's built for. I didn't know you were video. Just beep the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.